Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. I'm at Plaid Enterprises and I have a great new technique, a patina technique to share with you today. And what we're going to be using is a great new paint. It's a Folk Art Home Decor Chalk and we have a wax to finish it off with that you're going to love. And I love the Folk Art um, Metallics and tools. Tools are fun. What you're going to love about the paint is you have a multitude of colors to pick from. Okay, now I found the lantern I wanted, but I didn't find the color I wanted, but that's no problem because we're gonna use the chalk color that I wanted, which was a patina. And this patina color was perfect for the project I was looking for. Now, I love the iron work and all in here, and but I knew that the chalk was gonna cover it really quickly, usually one coat, sometimes two. But what I do is I open up this bottle and I'm gonna not shake it, but I'm gonna stir the bottle of paint so that the paint's all mixed in, ready to go. And the best part of it is that I used a smaller brush because I wanted to get into the metal work here and it fit right inside the bottle so it was easy. Um, easy to get going and get my project done. So this small brush, what you're gonna love is that it'll go into all these intricate parts and also onto the ironwork. And the ironwork really only takes one coat, but I ended up coming back and doing a couple coats on some of the regular metal area because it, uh, the underneath color showed through. So the next step that you do is that you let this dry for two hours and then we'll be back to add some fun patina technique. Now what I wanted to do with this patina technique is put some different colors that um, give you that agey look, but what I really love is metallic, so I had to put some metallic in here. So I'm using a tool that's one of the folk art home decor tools, and I love this sponge. I love it that it fits in your hand really nice, and then I can use little parts of it, but remember I pinch sometimes to do the work instead of the whole sponge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze out a little bit of the metallic copper, all right, and it just takes a little bit, and that's the key. You're gonna pinch one edge of this and just pick up a teeny bit. Sometimes you wanna tap it off so you don't get carried away, because then you can always go get more. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap here, and it's really damp, so sometimes, and you'll see on our finished piece, some little bits of it were running a little bit of water. That's a fun look, okay? And so I address some of the corners, there again, it's when it's an aged look. Sometimes you can see where would rust or, or old, um, that mossy effect that sometimes would come on something that's been sit, sitting outside for a while, wherever those corners would be. A little bit into the iron work here. All right, now when metallic dries, it gets really shiny and pretty. We're gonna add a couple more colors to it and to give even a better effect and just get some of, see how it's starting to look like it's um, a little bit aged in there. So I'm gonna keep working on this and we're gonna let it dry and come back and we'll put some more layers. Now, many of you are gonna think this looks beautiful just like this, cause I kinda like the shiny metallic part with the patina, but I think it's gonna look so much better when we add more to it. So I've taken the sponge, kinda cleaned it out a little bit. I just st still have it on this corner, so I'm gonna go and move to the other corner. I poured out my paint, so I have the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Java and then the Salmon Coral. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is the Salmon Coral is gonna look a little bit like this, but it's flat, it has a little bit of a, a matte finish when it's gonna go on as an ultra matte actually. And then what I'm gonna do to this, let me turn this so I can see a little bit, is I'm gonna barely tap it, remember what I said? And you ever so lightly wanna come in here and start adding that, see how pretty that starts looking. Little bit around, cause now, you know, when we get through with this, we're gonna bring our darker part into this. Also on your top little piece here, see the little ring? Looks good to add a little bit on there and on the top knob. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and on the same sponge, but you can turn it around if you want to, is pinch it again, remember, and let's pick up a little bit of the Java. Now this one I wanna make sure that I kinda tap it off because I don't wanna get carried away. All right, now 
I'm gonna come right in here and put little bits of it and not maybe as many places as I did the rust look. And you know what? This is what I tell everybody. You need to stand back and look at it and see what you think. When you're right on top of it, sometimes you don't see. Look how pretty. I just love this project. Love the colors. It goes in a multitude of um, decor, so that makes it even nicer. All right, and we just keep on going until it's just what we want it to be. Okay, now what we do is we have our finished piece and you've got the color that you desire. And then we're gonna come back and put some clear wax on this and that's gonna protect it um, and seal it up. So I also stir this wax and then I love this little brush. And this is a round wax applying brush, also great for stencils by the way. And it's not the oval that we painted with. This is the waxing brush. So this also fits in the lid inside the uh, bottle so you can easily apply it. So we're gonna add this all on top of here and then we'll come back with our cloth and buff it to the sheen that we want. All right, so now if you wanna know more about these waxing techniques, we have folk art home decor wax how-to videos that are gonna help you just expand upon your knowledge of waxing. Doesn't that sound fun? And I always love to go to Plaid Online to find out product information and different creative ideas for you to use in your home with other Plaid products. So if you wanna learn more, go to plaidonline.com for that. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see where this is gonna fit in my house. So I wanna see pictures from you guys. I wanna see what you do with this great patina technique. Thank you.